And we want you to know the facts surrounding the coronavirus, so we are talking to the experts on that. This morning, we're joined by LSU Health Infectious Disease Specialist, Dr. Fred Lopez. Thank you for joining us. And we talked about this uh, just a little while ago, um, seeing what's going on with the economy. How much longer are, are doctors, or do we have any idea just how long it'll be before we're kind of back to normal? Well, I think it's going to be a while, Eric. I can't give you an exact estimate, but... Um, I think it's going to be a while and, and you know we're seeing some glimmers of hope with some of the recent statistics from the state of Louisiana, but they're, they're glimmers. Uh, I think we need some more consistency in terms of the hospitalization rates, the death rates, and um, the ventilator rates, but a glimmer of hope. But how long? Um, hard to say. And if we get additional waves of infection after the summer, for example, but in the fall and winter, then I think you know this could be something that uh, could extend itself. Because the governor is so right. I mean, now is not the time to let down our guard because we don't want to see a spike back up if we're starting to flatten that curve. Absolutely. I, I think this is just reinforcement that what we're doing seems to be working and uh, just continue to do it as hard as it is. It does appear to be making an impact. All right, let's get to some of our viewer questions. Here's one. If someone just started feeling symptoms today, but the last time you saw the person was a week ago, is it possible you were exposed to the virus? It, it is possible. We know that a significant number of people are infected but don't have any symptoms or are about to develop symptoms. In fact, some studies say 25, as high as 50% of people are asymptomatic and are infected with COVID-19. So if you saw that person a week ago, um, we know the incubation period, the period from the time somebody acquires the infection and develops symptoms can be as great as 14 days. So one week is certainly within that 14 day incubation period. And if you had close contact with that individual, it is uh, um, a possibility that you were exposed to the virus. And this is an interesting question. Since we, when we go out, we wanna make sure we're not bringing stuff back into the house. Should I spray the clothes I'm wearing with disinfected spray when I get home? as if the disinfectant spray is a perfume, or should I just change clothes immediately? Yeah, I think I would just change clothes immediately um, and then launder them according to the manufacturer's recommendations, preferably at the warmest temperature allowable. Um, if you use a hamper for dirty clothes, preferably have a liner in there that's disposable, and try not to shake your clothes. You don't want to disperse the virus through the air but I would just change your clothes and launder them accordingly at the warmest possible temperatures. And is that when you go out to any place, like to a store or I think, for a yeah, walk or whatever? Have the, right, right. I think if you leave your home and you're exposed to individuals, again, some are asymptomatic and possibly infected. So if you're within six feet of individuals or you're, you're um, outside walking past individuals, I, I think, you know, there's a risk. And um, using... Uh, good common sense approaches to changing your clothes, to cleaning your hands, really decontaminating uh, uh, wrap, uh, surfaces that are often touched by individuals who might be infected. All of those hygiene approaches are going to be most effective at preventing infection. This one, in terms of clothes, is, is less likely than if you're next to someone who's coughing and sneezing, who's infected with COVID-19 and acquiring the infection. But I do think that changing those clothes and then laundering them is, the, is an appropriate approach to minimizing the transmission of infection. So you'd rather see people over-concerned and over-emphasizing uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, than less. Yeah, I think, less. I think, that, I think what, what many people are saying is to act like you're infected and to act like everyone else is infected. And, and I think in that way, you're practicing the best hygienic approach to minimizing the transmission of infection. And that includes when you leave your home uh, wearing some facial covering as well, just in case you're one of those individuals who's not showing symptoms and might be infected with COVID-19. All right, Fred, thank you very much. We'll have more from uh, Dr. Lopez in the next uh, half hour. If you've got a question you want answered, you can text that question to us at 529-4444.